the number six green engine of the Northwestern Railway. job is to carry the mail. However, Thomas also helps out when there is too much for one engine to handle, and sometimes Rosie also helps out. One morning, Percy was at Ellsbridge Station with the morning milk train. How about we hold him back when we get to Brendan? Oh no you don't, I'm in charge and I want no nonsense from you. You must have been very lucky to have a brakeman who knows how to keep the trucks in line, Samson. Yeah, should be, Percy. Be a truck for better break now. He may be strict, but he sure does know how to keep the trucks that don't cause any trouble. Wish I had one. It would be great to have one who knows how to make sure the trucks don't misbehave like Rafa does. Hello, Mr. Percy. What's up? I just wish I could have my own brake van for once. You know, like how Oliver's brake van and Bradford is Samson. I did work with Mr. Douglas as well, since he was the one who rescued me, Mr. Oliver, and Miss Isabel from the scrap. It would be nice to have my own brake van. The next morning, Percy arrived at Bankwood Station where Rosie and the pack were fondly waiting. George told me about you wishing that you had a brake fan. Well, we have bought a new brake fan from the United States called Bruno. Before you start work, I would like you to say hello to him. Sure thing, sir. Hello there. My name's Percy. Pleased to meet you, Percy. My name's Bruno. Percy and Bruno, your job is to take some crates of parts to Crovin's gear for Rusty as his engine is failed. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, in Crovin's gate, Victor had shunted Rusty into the works. Not to worry, my friend. Percy will be delivering new parts for you that will be arriving here soon. I hope so. It's a good thing that Birchman is looking after my track inspection duties while I'm here. Look, it's Percy. Let's give him some nonsense. Oh no, you don't! That'll do the trick. But then Percy noticed that Bruno was looking uncomfortable. What's the matter, Bruno? It's just I'm not used to loud noises. Oh, my bad. I was only to use my do as I say whistle to keep the trucks in line. So after calming Bruno down, Percy was ready to leave. He was careful not to blow his whistle too loud in case he got overwhelmed by it. Soon Percy was puffing through the beautiful countryside. There isn't too much noise here, Bruno. I know. It's very really peaceful. The trucks, however, were getting very bored.
Sue and Percy came towards Gordon's Hill. Soon it won't be long until we get closer to Croven's Gate. Then there was trouble. Now! Oh no! Percy, what was that? The cobweb has been snapped! I'm trying. I'm coming, Bruno. Both down the line, Edward was pulling a passenger train. The fact controller was also on board. He was going to Barrow for a meeting. Watch it, you Edgewood. There's a runaway train on that line. Edgewood, back up! If I would stop these trucks, I would end up crashing through a passenger train. There's going to be a crash! Upon realizing the pending crash, Bruno's guard slammed on his brakes. Oh no, not another loud noise. Bruno closed his eyes in despair. A quick thinking shunter changed the points and Bruno was diverted onto an old siding which was also the same one where Toad fell into a muddy pool a long time ago. I'm sorry Edward, my trucks thought it would be a great idea to break away from me. It was my first time pulling my new brake van Bruno. Well, he also managed to prevent a terrible accident. Is he alright? Oh no! Oh dear! Percy saw that poor Bruno had gone overwhelmed again. This time, it wasn't a whistle, but the sound of his brakes. Has it gone now? Calm down, Bruno. It's alright now. What matters is that you're okay. Then Bruno noticed some ducks swimming in the pool. That looks like fun. This made Bruno start to feel better. Percy agreed that it looked like great fun as well. After Edward changed tracks so and continued on his way to Barrow, Percy and Bruno were on their way again. from crashing into him. Thank you, sir. And Percy, you did the right thing by cheering him up. You two will make a great pair indeed. Sir, can I ask you something? Fire right away. Could you ask the men at the works to do some um, great band headphones for Bruna? That way he can keep the loud noise away. Certainly, Percy. So, what do you think of your headphones, Bruno? It was really thoughtful, Percy, my breaking buddy. Percy felt very happy. Percy and Bruno are 
great friends. And whenever Bruno has a bad day, Percy is there to help him.